Good evening. We've got another off-road recovery to do. So we're in the Jeep again. No Riley this time. That makes me sad. But we've got a couple people up in the Ochico National Forest this time outside of Prineville. Stuck in the snow pretty bad, supposedly. They said every time they try to get out, the truck slides off over the bank even farther and they're afraid they're going to lose it over the edge. So haven't seen any pictures of it. Not sure 100% what we're getting into, but they're very cold. They built a fire to try to stay warm. They said they got enough wood to get through a little bit, but don't think they have enough to get through the night. So we're going to go try to find them and get them out of there. And as you can see, it's about 745. Sun is down over there. So this is going to be another in the dark recovery, which we seem to do a lot of. So I know you guys are thinking, and why do these people always get stuck at night? And it's not that they get stuck at night. People get stuck all throughout the day. Actually, most of them get stuck during the day. Uh, but we always end up going to get them at night because during the day, most people really try to get themselves out. They they use tree branches, they use chains if they have them, they dig, they try to do whatever they can to get themselves out. And then once it starts to get dark and cold, they realize they don't want to camp out here in the snow. So then they decide they should probably make a phone call. So it's not that people always get stuck at night, it's just at night is when they realize they don't want to be stuck out in the woods. So that's why most of the recoveries I do, especially if it involves snow, is at night. All right, there was a three-way intersection back there, and the guy said he thinks he had to stay in the center gravel road all the way up, so I took the center, get out here into the snow where we can see tracks, and there's two sets of tracks, and they are the same tire tread as you can see, which means one was going in and one was coming out. They don't look super, super fresh. They actually feel kind of icy and crusted over, so they're probably from yesterday or early this morning. So I don't think this is the right path. I'm gonna, I think back out of here, or turn around right here maybe and not fall off the cliff and try going out one of the other forks because I don't think this is correct. Okay, we're back at the intersection. So we're gonna take the, the right fork, even though we're turning left, those are coming backwards, but head out this way a little bit and see what kind of tracks we see in the snow. Okay, out this fork a little ways these are the same tracks as what we saw down that other road and as you can see kind of up in there there's two sets of them too so they also went in and back out this road but there's also this more street tread track here and there's only one set of those so the knobby big tires look like they went in and back out the street tires look like they just went in and i would guess the guy who's stuck has the street tires so this is not the directions I got, but it looks like the way we need to go. So we're gonna head out this way and see what we find. Well, there's a man standing in the middle of the road in the middle of the woods. I really hope that's him. Okay, so the guy in the road is not the guy we were looking for. He is someone who was going Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to back up.
got him out. Now I'm trying to get be coming so that they can get by okay we got him off the side of the shoulder there so hopefully anyone else can get by the road I guess these people who are stuck up here are not quite prepared for the night and a little worried so they made a whole bunch of phone calls including to a bunch of friends to the sheriff's department who's working on search and rescue and to me because it says rescue right there so he is trying to make a few phone calls while well, we got a little spot of service and see where anyone else who might be coming is. We're definitely the farthest up and the closest, so we'll probably get there first, but we'd like to know how far behind us everyone else is. And just so you know, we are deep, deep in the Ochoco National Forest. Um, not sure exactly how deep because GPS doesn't work, but from the time we got into the forest on the dirt roads and hit the snow, we're another like 20 miles in. So we're far away from help and phone service and all that. So it's probably not a bad thing that search and rescue is on the way. I'm not sure how far we've gone. Where you got no hair in these tires? No, they're at about uh, seven, eight pounds. He said he uh, tore up some of those mylar blankets and hung them from the trees to kind of mark the way. Okay, good. Which uh, makes him pretty confident we're gonna get him out or he's gonna need those mylar blankets back <laughs> but hopefully we find those those should reflect in this it looks like if I've made it past that I would have made it down here probably this isn't so bad yet he said there's a ton of snow where he's at He said he made some markers with no, sticks and on that one looks like a pretty fresh that looks like an arrow, sort of. arrow. That's very smell. Hopefully we start seeing that mylar blanket because that's a for sure. Yeah. Is that mylar blanket on the trees? Might be. Looks like it. It's moving, so yep. there's your lights. Yeah, that's Mylar. Oh, and there's someone in the road down there. Hopefully that's him and not Sasquatch. <laughs> nope, just another chunk of Mylar. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, there. I don't know, let's find out. Okay, so we finally found our guy. There's our truck. Oh, he is almost off the road. He yep. said it was pretty bad. Well, at least he's facing out, which means once we get him pulled out, we don't have to try turning him around. <laughs> it's going to make it easier to get out of here. So yeah. let's go see what we got. Okay, so front end's over the edge. I think if we double wrap these trees right here, it'll be strong enough. And this front tire's all the way over. Straight off the edge. Hey, you definitely stopped just in time. Is it this wide? Uh, 
goes down a good ways. Yeah. And I think all your front tires sitting on is snow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's pull on it. Yeah. At least you got a little bit of fire. Okay, so we got the cable running just right to go through these trees to our recovery ring. And since I don't feel like either one of these trees is strong enough, we double wrap it in a way that it pulls on both trees at the same time. That way we've got both of them hold us. Then back over there into the hitch. So let's see what happens. Reverse. Yeah, put it in reverse and don't give any throttle just yet. Okay, turn your wheel to the passenger side. Passenger. Okay, now put it in reverse, you're in reverse. Give a little throttle. A little more, keep turning to the passenger. Passenger, harder. Passenger. Yep. Okay, let off. Okay, give a little bit. Okay, hold up. Okay, give a little. Little throttle. Little throttle. Little more. Okay, stop there. Actually, just a little more. I want your back, perfect. So now we'll grab the front and pull it straight sideways. I was hoping that front end would climb up out of there better, but yeah. oh well. All right, you are going to put it in first gear and turn your wheel all the way this way that you can. Like that? Yep. And then I'm going to pull a little, and you're going to give a little throttle. A little more. A little more. Perfect. Okay, a little more. Okay, hold on. That one little chalk is holding really well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, brakes. Hit the brakes so that you don't roll forward and I just pull you sideways. That way your feather front tire doesn't drop in this hole. Okay, now let off the brake and it's gonna pull forward some and hopefully get your back tire out of that. Okay, come a little farther. A little more, you you're good on your own right there you think? Go ahead and try coming forward about two feet. Okay, perfect. All right, I'll unhook you and see if I can get backed out of here and you should be able to drive out from there. I'm gonna um, walk back with a light and see if there's somewhere close I can turn around before I try to back out through all of this. Because if I slide into that, I'm a little bit screwed. That looks inviting but probably not just trying to see what i'm going to get into backing out of here because i don't have good backup lights on that thing at all yet i think that's a patch of dirt right there i can use that to turn around so well, you can see it's sloped downhill pretty good right here i probably can't see cameras don't show but sloped downhill pretty good in these big old ruts where they got stuck so Hopefully we don't go into that. Turn around the tiniest little spot and then the road gets 50 feet wide and bare dirt. <laughs> All right, let's go get your truck out. Yeah. Yours, we gotta get turned around too. Okay, 
So I think I'll have him wait on this side of that hole and then I'll go past you and get you pulled out backwards. And that way he doesn't try to get around you and slide off again. Yeah. I think I'll use- See the angle here. Yeah. Oh, he's up here. That's why I want him to not try to go around you on this right. and end up back in that hole you're in. Exactly why I stopped right here. <laughs> and then I'll use that uh, kinetic rope just to, I don't think I gotta pull you back far, just onto the road and then you can back up pretty good on your own. And then we'll get you turned around somewhere. All right, we're gonna try to crawl past him without falling down in the hole over here. And then I'm gonna hook on to him from the back with the kinetic rope. He's not gonna need much of a tug to get back in this hard center and then he can back up on his own and we can try to get the other one through. All right. Might have to give a little reverse. Go ahead and give a little reverse. Should be good. I know it's a kinetic rope, but I hate yanking with it. Okay, we got that one out of where we purposely got it stuck. Now let's see if we can get this one through. Your turn! Go ahead and come through and try to keep your front tire right here if you can. And please don't slide into the hole. Perfect! Good job! Now we got two thirds of them facing the right way. <laughs> There's one more to go. <laughs> All right. Hopefully he makes it. He's got to go backwards a good ways. And he's just going into the ditch. Sure, it doesn't help. He's only got one backup light. Okay, plan B. I'm gonna go turn around, go backwards so that my winch is on the front side, use snatch blocks off of trees again and turn him around in the middle of the road right where he sits because he's not gonna make it back out of here backwards. Then he's gonna go out forward, the other guy's facing forward, and I'm going to be the one going backwards. All right, let's see how this works. So I almost have everything I need to put a winch on the rear of this thing, which I really need to do because then I wouldn't have to go up the road here and turn around like I'm doing. Man, it looks tempting to turn around, but it's probably a bad idea right there. So let's go farther. Yeah, I definitely need to get the rear winch put on here. Like, badly. Okay, I got this little patch of dirt right here. I'm gonna try to Austin Powers myself around in and not go off the drop off that's on either side. Woo. How far down that is but it looks like a long way okay come on jeep okay turning him around right where he sits is definitely the best call because this is a long way up and that spot sucked so off we go I want 
that tree. So I will park right here. Okay, so now I'm back behind him. Snatch blocked off that tree to his front end to try to pull his front end that way and backwards to start the spin of the truck and hopefully put his back end in this ditch. Then I'll grab his front end and pull it the rest of the way around and up out of that ditch. So let's see how that goes. Okay, let's get up here so I can see what we're doing. Okay, can you put it in reverse? And don't give any throttle, just... Okay, now give a little throttle and turn to the right at the same time. Perfect. A little more. Okay. Okay, do that again. Yeah, there's a rut right there your front end doesn't want to climb out of. It's making it. It's just pulling me off. Okay. It's locked now. Okay, well, um, I think you'll be able to go forward a little right there, actually. Maybe be able to pop yourself up that way. Let me unhook you. Two. See if you can get yourself popped back up over here to the center a little more. Perfect. Keep going so your back end pops up. A little more. Okay. All right, now turn to the driver's side and back up. A little more driver's side. Okay. No, no, you're good right there. Keep going. Okay, stop there. Okay, straighten your wheel up some. All right, now you are dead on in the tracks. Um, I can see now <laughs> I've got lights in front of me and lights behind me. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me get this out of here, and then we'll see right. if you make it any farther. Um, there's not any super good place up there to turn around for quite a while. So, Goody. yeah. Um, and I do, sit on the hood. I do want to turn you around right here. I think it'd be easiest. Because, I mean, we're going to have to turn around the middle of the road either way. We're already how, how far up? I went up probably a quarter mile. Holy crap. Yeah, so I'm kind of thinking. As long as I can see now the track, let's at least try it. Okay. But it gets narrower as we go as far as if we do have to turn you around up there. Oh, okay. Well, and I call. I think we're going to have to use the winch to spin you around either way. All right. We might as well do it right here. So right let me. Right here? Right here, right here. So I'm thinking. Move this, turn your wheel driver's side and come forward. Try to get it started. Yeah, so come forward some. Keep going, a little more. Okay, stop oh. there. Yep, no, that's okay. Now turn passenger and try to back your back end into that ditch. And Okay, just turn passenger, I'll tell you when to stop. Go, go, go. Keep going. Keep going. Good, good, keep going. Can you go a little more? Okay, that's good. But now, that's perfect. But now look, I can grab your front hook. So now I can pull you around a little better. So let me get set up to do that. Looks like some help's arrived. Someone's pulling up. Okay. Now keep it in reverse and turn to the passenger side. Now give a little throttle, passenger. Perfect. Keep, keep doing that. Just a little at a time. Because as I pull that way and you back up with your wheels turned like that, it's spinning you. Okay, stop there. I'm gonna unhook the snatch block and go straight to your front hook and pull your front end sideways and you back up onto the road, hopefully in one pull. Okay, we got the sheriffs here, finally. They found us, so hopefully they can get back out and pull them. 
So now we're gonna try to finish spinning him around and see if we can all get out of here. All right, so just uh, keep it turned this way and for now hold your brake locked up so that your front end slides to the side. So I wanna get your front end over here in the tracks before we start moving forward so you don't go back over in that. Okay, now go ahead and let off the brake and let it roll. And just keep it turned all the way to this side. Go ahead and hit the brake again. Okay, let off the brake. We're gonna back up and get out of your guys' way. Okay. And then we'll just sit up at my guy's saddle and make sure. Make sure everybody gets out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, turn to the passenger side just a little. Try to get that back tire to pop up out of there. Okay, driver's side. Okay, you should be good there. Go ahead and put it in drive and make sure you can drive forward. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna get you unhooked and then we're all, we're gonna try to back out. And then hopefully you guys can drive out good from here. Uh, hopefully he makes it through those holes. Well, you probably can't see this, but that's the sheriff up there going out backwards up the hill. I'm going out backwards. Both of them are going out forward, so hopefully the sheriff makes it. Hopefully I make it. And we'll see how this goes. So search and rescue was on the way because they didn't know I was out here. But the sheriff got here first and was able to call them off so that that whole squad of people's not out here in the woods for no reason and as long as we all get out of here good they don't have to come out here I think we got like another quarter mile to go backwards before we can get to a turnaround okay I found a good spot to turn around it was still a little too deep of snow for the sheriff to turn around, so they're still going backwards. They got kind of a steep uphill they got now, so hopefully they don't spin out. Both of them are still behind me going, so that's good. Sheriff's doing a hell of a job. He's been going for a long way. Oh yeah, turn around right there. Perfect. Okay. All four vehicles are facing the right direction for the first time. The problem is the least capable vehicle is in the very back, so hopefully he makes it. I think we're to some pretty decent road though now, so let's see if we can all get out of here. All right, our two stuck people are out of here. The sheriff is gonna follow me out of here. Once we get back past all this rough snow and down a ways, I'll stop and air my tires back up. But now what in the hell we got going on down here? Oh, there's a minivan. Oh, 
you don't want to do that. What the hell is a minivan doing up here? This night is never going to end. <laughs> this dude right there walking just said, he goes, that was my wife. She came up in the minivan to get him. <laughs> Now that is the ultimate ride or die chick right there. She'd have probably done it too. Okay, let's all get going again. just trucking along through the snow. She was going to come yank his ass out of there and make sure he was home for dinner. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, minivan lady's badass. There's all these big huge ruts in the snow and those pickups both dropped into them. She's straddling them and cruising along no problem. back on some good pavement here out of all the snow and dirt so get the tires aired back up the sheriff followed that whole other crew back to town and I'm the last one out here gonna air up and then see if I can catch up to him well, I'm all aired up and headed out of the woods everyone else is gone they should be almost back to town by now I'm the last one but I'm not far behind that turned into way more of an adventure than I was anticipating. This was supposed to just be one pickup stuck in the snow, real simple. Go up and get them. It turned out to be one pickup over the bank, very, very stuck in the snow, super deep in the woods. And then the second pickup, which was the first one we got to, that was a friend of the other person's who knew where he was and was going to try to help him out because he knew that they were not prepared to spend the night in the snow. And then he got stuck. Then the sheriffs got involved and search and rescue got involved because no one could find him. I didn't know any of that until I got out there and found the first guy. So I got him out of the way. Went and got the second guy. Got him pulled out. Went back, got the first guy pulled out again. Then the sheriff showed up. They were able to call off search and rescue. We all got out of there, and to top it all off, dude's old lady shows up in a minivan, shows us all up in the snow, so way more than I was expecting, way more than I bargained for, but everybody's out of here, and I'm almost out of here, and everybody's going home tonight, so I call that a mission accomplished, even if I'm not 100% sure what the mission was, but as long as nothing else crazy happens tonight, we're going to call this good night.